In 2008, India launched a massive power generation drive after signing a civil nuclear agreement with the United States. With a primary focus on nuclear energy, it has planned dozens of power reactors across the country. Some of them are facing opposition from local communities. FSRN's Bismila Galani reports from New Delhi, where farmers, fishermen and activists from six Indian states gathered for a protest today. At New Delhi's Parliament Street, a group of about a dozen women sing, Remember Fukushima. Remember the disaster. This is what the nuclear energy brings. Don't let it happen to you. The women are from Kudankulam, the site of a nuclear power plant in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. They have travelled more than 1200 miles to join hundreds of others in a sit-in protest against nuclear energy in the national capital. 45-year-old fisherwoman Sagaya Yanida is one of them. We don't want cancers, we don't want deformities, and we don't want so many other diseases. We have seen what happened at Fukushima, and we know it affects generations. We want the plant to be shut down immediately. We don't need electricity if it endangers our lives and deprives us of our livelihoods. Krishan Shivaj is a farmer in the northern state of Haryana, where protests against the government's attempts to acquire farmland for another nuclear power reactor have continued for more than a year. We lost two fellow farmers in 490 days of our protest, though we did not resort to any violence. But the government is still not heeding. We get four crops from our land in a year. How can they take such fertile land for nuclear power generation? And what will we do after that? Why should a poor country like ours go for nuclear energy when its hazards have now become apparent? India currently has 20 nuclear power reactors in operation. Half a dozen more are under construction. The government says many more are needed to meet the acute shortage of electricity in the country. S.K. Malhotra is head of the Public Awareness Division at the Department of Atomic Energy. We have such a huge population which is continuously growing and to meet the energy needs of this size of population, we don't have enough options. If we leave aside the nuclear option and put all our other resources to the best use, we still have a shortage of 4 gigawatts or 400,000 megawatts of electricity by the year 2050. But environmentalists say it's a risk India is not equipped to handle. Gopal Krishna heads the Toxic Watch Alliance. The health secretary of government of India says that there is no health infrastructure in place to deal with nuclear emergencies. Ours is a country which cannot even detect radioactive contamination in water. It could not detect nuclear radiation, radioactive radiation in Mayapuri scrap yards. How can we trust that? That very system, forget about nuclear accidents or disasters. Even government of India is not capable. This institution's health infrastructure is not capable of addressing routine health hazards which emerge from nuclear power station. Krishna says India has abundant renewable sources like wind, water and sun to meet its energy needs. Intergovernmental panel on climate change has categorically said that 80% of the energy needs can be met through renewable energy. So there is a compelling logic to move towards harmless renewable energy sources. Following the Fukushima disaster, the safety concerns about the Russian and French-made reactors in India have also been fueling protests. Although the government says they have conducted a safety review and found no problems, anti-nuclear activists are still concerned. P.K. Sundaram is research consultant with the Coalition for Nuclear Disarmament and Peace. The Rosatom and other Russian nuclear agencies have submitted a report after Fukushima to their president in which they have underlined that this particular design is unsafe and the nuclear industry in Russia is not prepared to deal with an accident like Fukushima. So a, a similar thing has happened in France. There have, has been a governmental report criticizing the EPR. Mm. The EPR has not got permission even in the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission. So these reactors which are 
under uh, consideration and under severe criticism in their own countries, the government of India is very sure about their safety, which is ironical and which actually <coughs> tells us how irresponsible Indian elite mm. is towards Indian people. The government has now constituted a nuclear safety regulatory authority to monitor the reactors. But the protesters are not satisfied. They want all nuclear power projects scrapped, arguing that the technology is inherently unsafe. Some of India's prominent nuclear scientists have also expressed concerns about what they call the country's reckless pursuit of nuclear power. Bismillah Gilani, Free Speech Radio News, New Delhi.